Good morning, guys. Okay, so this video is on object interaction with character, and three concepts I want you to remember are form, weight, and size of object. So, saying that and doing that, I have all these weird little pink objects around. So, what I am gonna do is draw a, like characters holding said objects. So. You always want to observe from life on how people hold um, coffee cups, pencils, pens, because everyone will hold something a little bit differently. Um, and just keep that in mind and look at photographs of people holding objects. Um, and it will actually like help you out because you'll be able to observe what the hand or what the forms are doing. Um, So when you go to draw it, you know what you're drawing and what you should be drawing. I should have done a little bit more observation with coffee cup holding, but anyway, that is beside the point. Um, it has been a rough morning. Every time I've tried to take this video, I have gotten interrupted. Yay! <laughs> so, um, again, the best way that you can learn to draw anything is by looking at real life photos or looking from life either you holding the object or a family member or friend holding the object so that you can draw it from life and do lots of studies from life because then when you go to cartoon it or draw like your own thing anime characters the animation characters holding something you will understand how that object can properly be held um, <clears throat> some objects be held like that some objects need to be held more closely it's understanding how the body is reacting and where like how we hold things and how we carry stuff and our posture when we're carrying things so it's always great to take photographic reference for yourself or find really good reference of different um, objects being held a lot of times you will have to take your own reference because somebody holding a bag of laundry I don't think that's a common reference pose people holding boxes is but there are words so you have to yeah my god put some clothes on You have to keep in mind just those key factors that I said at the beginning of the video is what is the form of the object because that will affect how it can be held. Um, the weight of the object because that will kind of dictate like what the pose is going to be and the size of the object which again um, if it's a tiny box it can be held in your hand if it's a big box it's going to be held like out so it'll also dictate the pose and how you can uh, what your pose is that you're going to be drawing so this little box Also weight this size of box if there wasn't something heavy in it you could carry in one hand uh, this box obviously there isn't anything but like if you look at the way that like the characters holding the objects like obviously cups those are easy to hold but depending on the size of the cup right like that's a small <laughs> to-go coffee cup but a large to-go coffee cup which most people buy 
would be held, there'd be more space. So again, it's observation of the object and then just making sure that you make your pose so that the character looks like it is actually affecting them. Um, you want to be able to you want to be able to feel the weight of the object. You want to be able to like make sure that that character looks like they're holding something in their hands properly um, because awkward poses and the way that like if something looks off, people are gonna know, right? Like this hand to me looks so off. But you wanna make observational drawings. Um, drawing from life is your best bet to learn how to draw. So always take photo reference, look at people drawing, go out and do some cafe sketching, especially like in the winter, you can go into a park and wear gloves like this or like the fall, cause winter is kind of snowy, I would go to a cafe. but. You can go out and you can observe people from life and cafe sketches the reason why they're so good is because people are always going to be interacting with something even if it is their cell phone. So just go out, do some life sketching which is the best way to uh, also alleviate artist block because you just have to draw what's in front of you. And go out, do your life sketching, go sit in a cafe, do something, or go to a park if you don't want to go to a cafe and spend money on an overly priced hot beverage or cold beverage. Um, so yeah, just draw from life as much as you can, and then if you don't want to draw from life, look at photos on the computer, look at stock photos, take your own stock photos, build yourself a, like, a reference library so that you can go in and be like, oh, I know I have those poses, and then spend a day and draw hands holding cups, or spend a day and draw feet in shoes and all different kinds of stuff. If you do that, you are going to be way better off and have a better um, interior catalog to draw from. Um, <laughs> Uh, there was a pun in there but like you can pull from all this practice that you've done and you'll be able you won't be fighting the drawing and you won't be struggling to figure out how things are being held because you'll have all of that practice drawing these things anyways that is it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it if you have any questions please leave it in the comment section below or comments or generalized suggestions as you can see i had to do this like six times. <laughs> Actually, I did end up taking six videos to get this video out, but whatever, that is beside the point. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Have a great day. Bye.